Hello nursery. This week we've been doing lots of drawing and mark making. You've been practicing your letters and you've been drawing bears. Right, well, we're going to draw something else today. Where do bears live? Where do they like to live? The bears in the story lived in a wood, didn't they? And woods are made out of lots and lots of trees. And there's not just one type of tree in the wood. There's lots of different types of trees in woods and forests. So I'm going to show you how to draw some. Right, I've got my board here. I've got my pen. I've got also got my green pen today because on trees you find leaves. Well, if it's the right month or the right type of tree. Right, we're going to start off with a tree that's called a coniferous tree. It's a funny word, isn't it? You say coniferous. That's the sort of tree that doesn't lose its leaves. Usually, often they have pine needles. If you have a real Christmas tree at Christmas time, that has pine needles and that's a coniferous tree. So we're going to start with that one because that's one of the easiest types to draw. So which side should I have my board? Let's move this this way a bit and hold my board here. That's better. That's better. Right, OK. So we're going to start by drawing the tree trunk. That's a thick bit down the middle of the tree. So for our Christmas tree, we're going to make it really simple and just draw a line. So I'm going to go top to bottom. I just called it a Christmas tree. I meant a fir tree. So you do a line and you start at the top and you go down to the bottom of your page. Then take a green colour and a little bit like when we did the fur on our teddy bears, you're going to do lots of dashes. You're going to do dashes on each side of the line. So you start at the top and you kick out from the middle, go from the tree trunk, and we're drawing the branches of our fir tree. There we go. That wasn't too tricky, was it? That's a big fir tree. You can do a little fir tree. I'll do a little one next to it here. So I've done a shorter tree trunk. I'm going to do some more sort of flicks from the top to the bottom. There. Have a go. You have a go at doing that. Right. Another type of tree is called a deciduous, deciduous tree. That's the sort of tree that does lose its leaves in the autumn time. I can see lots of trees outside of my window that haven't got any leaves on, so that means they're deciduous trees. They've lost their leaves. But if I look closely, they're beginning to grow buds because it is springtime. Now, deciduous trees often have thicker trunks. They're trees like oak trees. Have you heard of oak trees which drop acorns? So, so I'm going to draw a thicker trunk. So this time I'm not going to use one line. I need two lines for my tree trunk. I'm going to do two lines for my tree trunk. Okay. And then, oh, go on itch. <laughs> then I need to draw some branches. I'm going to do some branches, some flicky up, flicky up lines. Okay. So you do your two lines either side and then you do some sort of flicks up in the air. Then we take our green again and we're going to draw some uh, some leaves onto our trees. Now at the moment it looks like a tree in the winter time, doesn't it? There aren't any leaves. So we're going to turn it into a summertime tree and I'm going to do a cloud shape around the top. So this is a cloud shape going on top of my deciduous tree. And then to really make it come to life, I'm going to do some little M shapes or sideways three shapes to make it look like it's got some leaves all over. Make it look really plump. It's a really healthy tree, this one. So now I've got some, uh, some coniferous trees, some fir trees, and I've got a deciduous tree. That's like an oak tree. I'm going to and actually a little bit more detail on the trunk. Have you ever seen the trunk of a tree? It's really rough and the outside of the trunk of the tree is called bark. So if we do some wiggly lines on our tree, that makes it look like bark. If you want to be really clever, you could do a hole in your tree. That could be where a little owl lives or some squirrels live. Right, now I'm going to use the other side of my tree, out of my board, because the next kind of type of tree does not grow in the woods and the forests. 
this sort of tree would grow on in a hot country or a desert island. Can you guess what I'm thinking of? It's called a palm tree. So this is a fun one to draw. So like the deciduous tree, you need two lines to form the trunk. So you have to do one line and another line. And if you can, make it go a bit fatter at the bottom. So that's the trunk of your tree. But it's not going to have bark like our oak tree on this side. It's going to have lines down it because palm trees are formed in a different way. They have these lines down them. You can make your tree trunk stripy. Then you need some lovely palm leaves. So what you could do, take your black and do some bigger flicks out of the top, maybe four, like that. Because their branches are very, sit in a, in a set pattern like this, not like the oak trees. They can grow in any formation. Palm trees tend to stick to the same pattern. Rub that one out by accident. So you've got your four flicks. Real palm trees could have more flicks, but for our drawing, we're just going to use four. And then use your flicky technique to add some leaves to your palm tree, a little bit like the fir tree. So you have to add some flicks just on one side. Now we've got a palm tree there. Do you know what grows in palm trees? Coconuts. So you can draw some coconuts in your tree there, a round shape. And there you go. So three different ways of drawing a tree. We've got our fir trees, our, our coniferous trees. We've got our oak tree, which is a type of deciduous tree, the type that keep their le that don't keep their leaves, lose their leaves in the winter time. And we've got palm trees that you find in hot countries. So have a go. I bet you can all do all of these trees. Okay, and have fun doing it. Bye for now.